Hello folks. Today I want to show you Krogan Express 5217, which is a 2014 52 named Seagull. We're at River Forest Yachting Center in LaBelle and uh, we're going to do a tour of the boat for you today. Uh, let's walk this way. We're, we're at uh, a, a rather high dock here. We prefer to be at a nice floating dock, but uh, this gives us an opportunity to show that we have several ways of, of boarding. We're low enough here if the piling wasn't here, we actually could step onto the to the cap rail there and 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 board pretty well. But better today is is uh, to use the the forward boarding gate. You can see the forward boarding gate is uh, is almost flush with the dock, so we'll uh, we'll get on and off the boat that way, and we'll start out by uh, taking a little tour of the bow. Will you join me? So right away you can see that we've got very nice wide side decks. The boat is very easy to board. Uh, passing to the forward, uh, to, to the foredeck is, is very simple. The bow pulpit here is set up with uh, the, the anchor mounted to port. This particular boat has a, uh, a Vulcan anchor from, from Rockna which is a terrific spade type anchor. Um, the anchor is positioned to the port side and uh, that's so that you can add a second anchor if you want to. And you'll notice that, that uh, one of the owners has added a hawse opening here for that second anchor if you decided to do it. The anchor locker is accessed through a nice Freeman hatch and there's a ladder going down to, to access. There's, there's a great amount of space there. The anchor locker is actually partitioned as well so that you can go ahead and, uh, and, and separate your ground tackle if you do do two anchors. We also have both a fresh water and a raw water or salt water uh, wash down access here. And of course you've got your, uh, your windlass uh, controls as well, your foot pedals. And this particular owner has mounted fender holders up here as well which is convenient for your additional fenders. You can store a couple fenders in your anchor locker. Most people prefer to store them uh, aft in the lazarette which has plenty of room for that. From up here you notice that you've got a nice surface here on your on your trunk cabin. We've got hatches here for the master and for the guest stateroom and we can see that uh, the pilot house or the flybridge sits down a little bit behind the the pilot house, which is a signature part of our design, it makes it a little bit more uh, more low profile. So from there, let's head down this side, and we'll go and uh, start the rest of the tour from the cockpit. So we're here in the uh, in the aft deck, the cockpit. It's a it's really a highlight of the boat. You can see it's covered. It's very spacious, over a hundred square feet. We've got boarding gates on both sides. They're full depth, which uh, which makes it very easy to board at at floating docks as opposed to having to step over or come through the transom. We do have a, a very deep transom door here behind the table as well for accessing the swim platform. You can see back here we have a shower, a hot and cold shower in the transom. And over here we have our services. This is a 75 amp cord, or 50 amp cord, 75 foot long for the cable master. There's also TV and cable, city water if you want to use it, a 110 outlet, and this is a fresh water spray down as well and we have controls here a, a remote control for our fusion audio system as well we've got speakers mounted in the in the overhead um, come around this way and let me show you the lazarette the lazarette this this particular customer has some steps here for for boarding when necessary but you can see the lazarette is very spacious uh, lots of room for fenders and lines and cleaning supplies and the like. There's virtually no equipment down here aside from your uh, your rudder table and uh, steering linkage and so on. We love our big watertight uh, doors here, weathertight doors, and uh, we love the fact that they're French. They're the French doors. They make for a nice wide opening. So come on in and let's check out the uh, the interior. So the salon, you'll notice, is, uh, is, is nice and spacious. 
big windows on both sides and they open, which is a little bit unusual in today's day and age. Our, most of our owners appreciate the opportunity to slide the windows open and, and let the fresh air in on, on, on good days. Got a nice L set T on this side with storage below. And on this side, this particular boat has um, Ekranus stressless chairs, which are fabulously comfortable, typical of, of many of the Krogan Expresses as well. You notice the nice window treatments and, and in particular a custom uh, table here, and that's a high-low table as well. Your uh, nice, nice TV that hides behind timbre doors here, and your Bose stereo system here. It's a Bose 321 system, so you've got a, a surround sound effect from the, the Bose system. We love the fact that the galley is part of the action here. The, the chef can be part of the action, so it's, it's very convenient for provisioning, but also for preparing meals. Got a nice raised surface here, which is terrific for serving. Come this way, I want to show you the nice, uh, nice deep sink that we have. Pull out sprayer faucet. And, and we love this feature, the covered range top. So, so you gain some, some workspace when you're not cooking. Storage everywhere. Um, microwave over here as well. Full-size refrigerator freezer. And, um, and, and, and also I want to show you the ice maker over here. Let's not forget that. There's your ice maker. More storage on this side as well. Most people use that for uh, storing their, their favorite libra libations. And then of course we've got uh, more storage over here in this bookcase. And make sure you get the, uh, let's, let's uh, have a look at the bookcase on the aft wall there. Looks like it's in need of a new owner to, uh, to, to add some of their uh, decor, their decorations, their tchotchkes. <laughs> uh, Lastly, before we go forward, two more things. Um, the, the round port lights here are a nice signature item just in terms of giving it really that classic yachty feel. And then here's our electrical panel. And we love that it's eye height. It's all very well laid out. And let me give you a quick peek behind here and you can see how well the wiring is done. And um, most everybody, everybody that looks back here, it's going to give you a lot of confidence that the boat is well put together. Uh, at, at our yard in, uh, in Taiwan. All right, let's go up to the pilot house and see what we find there. Follow me. So right away you'll notice the Dutch doors here on both sides and, uh, that, and we love the fact that we can open just the top or we can open the bottom if we want to access. First we have to unlock it, but that'll get us out to the side decks. Got access on both sides to the side decks. Beautiful stid chair here for, uh, for captaining the boat. This boat is equipped with a Raymarine electronics package and the chart plotters are um, just a little bit over a year old. They're, uh, they're 16 inch models and um, we have a, a separate depth, so the depth is displayed on, on the chart plotters, but we have two transducers. It's also displayed on this uh, separate instrument in your autopilot here. Your autopilot has a fixed control head, but also a, a wireless remote, which is awful nice. You'll also discover that this particular boat has a, a, a black box type VHF radio with mics at both stations, but also a single sideband up here for um, which is which is unusual now. So and then it's only two or three years old. I guess the single sideband, probably three. Got a fusion audio system that controls three zones. You've got speakers on the flybridge here in the pilot house and in the cockpit. These, of course, are your engine displays and your um, ABT track stabilizer control panel. There. Um, got a separate panel here. If you can follow me for uh, for electronics uh, for navigational and like navigational communications electronics. We love our chart drawers here. We've got two nice chart drawers and, and this particular owner as you can see actually has charts in there. How about that? What a concept. We've got our control panel as well for the for the gen set. A little over a thousand hours on 12 kilowatt northern lights uh, generator on this boat. 
have a look here at the at the set T. Notice how high the set T is. Even somebody my size, there's still room to sit up here, but I can see forward extremely well, and, and it's nice to have an elevated set T. It's also long enough to sleep on, and it converts to a double. Drop the, drop the table down and slide it out, and you have uh, the ability to sleep, potentially two folks there. This particular customer also created a curtain. You can see this snap, and there's a couple more snaps here. They ran the boat with a captain, and sometimes the captain would berth here, and that freed up the guest stateroom, and the, the curtain gave the captain, or gives the captain some privacy. This slides this way, and the curtain around here works pretty nicely. Also notice the half hull model up here, which is kind of fun. You can see the full keel, the relatively flat aft sections, which are what uh, help to give the boat the speed that she does. Uh, 16 knots comfortably cruising, 20 knots top speed, and, and we can attest to that. We had her out yesterday and, and, and ran her wide open, and we got uh, 20. She turns up great. She's ready. So it's just a few steps down from the pilot house to the accommodations area. We have two, two heads and two staterooms here. Here's the, the guest or day head. Convenient to anybody running the boat and also right across the companionway from the guest stateroom. In the companionway, you can see that we also have a stacked washer dryer. And, and this is a vented washer dryer, so the, the, the dryer works very well. Dries clothes quite well, thank you. You can also see that uh, we've got access here. We'll go down in, this, in the engine room in a couple of minutes, but there's the uh, nice walk-in access to the engine room. The guest stateroom is uh, the kind of the centerpiece is that we've got a, we, we've chosen a layout that gives you some flexibility. So it, when it's just a couple cruising, you've got an office to use, a den office. You've got a, a nice settee here for just hanging out, reading a book, whatever. But the settee also slides out about this far and forms a, a, a double, double berth. There's also a Pullman berth up here that drops down. And there's a chain on this end that supports it. Doesn't look like this one's been used. And then of course the nice desk in here as well. Lots of storage. Big drawers here. And uh, additional hanging storage here as well as uh, an overhead locker for some additional items to store. Under, under this floor is the, uh, are the air conditioners, the, the fresh water pumps, um, vacuum flush head, uh, your strainers for your showers, etc. But uh, very easy to maintain all of those items. Follow me this way to the master. So in the master we have a, a, a full-size queen berth, a center, center queen berth, and you'll notice that, that I can actually reach the top of the bed. I don't have to slide the bed out or climb up on the bed to change the sheets. I can reach the top of the bed. There's plenty of room here. This, the uh, foredeck continues to slope upward here. Where I'm standing, I've got uh, over seven feet of headroom, about seven four. So there's lots of headroom in here, lots of space. Nice port lights, four of them here, plus the overhead hatch gives a very light and airy feel. Tons of storage in here. There are six drawers this size, which you know basically forms a dresser. And then in the, in the actual dresser over here, we've got some shelved storage. This, this owner put some linens in there that go with the boat, but uh, people will sometimes store shoes and, and other things. And then eight more drawers here hanging locker on this side. There's another one on the other side as well. And, um, and then the, I guess before we go into the head, I want to show you that we also have storage under the berth here. So this, the berth raises on a power strut and you can see there's, uh, gosh, room to, room to take some extra passengers under there if you want to. You might, uh, you might acquire some extra, extra crew if, uh, <laughs> if you're not careful with all the space. Why don't you uh, step over this way and we'll, we'll have a look at the, the master shower and, and, and head. 
you'll notice it's tall enough. I'm 6'4", and, and I've got plenty of room in here in terms of uh, standing up. I'm not going to take a shower for you right now, though. I know that would be a scary proposition. The rest of the head uh, is, uh, is, is very spacious and very usable as well. Why don't we head for the engine room now and see how things look there. Can you follow me that way? So here we are in the engine room and it's 6'4". You can see I'm almost standing up straight. So it's a terrific, uh, you're able to walk in through the full-size door and, and, and virtually stand up straight. There's also room, if you can follow me here, I can get outboard of the engines without having to climb over. So there's a lot of room to go outboard as well. Terrific room for storage over there as well. While you're looking this way, I'll point out the equipment for the ABT track stabilizers. It's got a terrific hydraulic stabilizer system that works very well. The, uh, the, the engines are 480 Yanmar diesels, of course, with uh, just over 1,100 hours on them. They're, uh, they're fully maintained and serviced and, and really ready to go. Um, due for their 1,000-hour service, but that's getting ready to happen here in the very short run. So, so for... Uh, for her next owner, they'll be uh, truly fully up to date and, and, and ready to go. Um, over on this side, if you want to step in here, I want to show you the Reverso uh, oil change system. And, and that has five lines, as you can see, going to it for both engines, both transmissions, and the generator. There's also a fresh water wash down here if you need, uh, need to hose things down. If you get a, a little salt water in here, you can clean it up. You'll notice that the that the water tank has a sight glass, both water tanks and the fuel tank as well. And I can also uh, point out the ray cores and the fuel transfer pump on this side as well. So here's your fuel transfer pump and your ray cores. Big ray cores on, uh, you know, for both engines as well as for the genset. Let's see if we can follow me down this way and we'll point out the, uh, the generator and some other things back here. So, so for starters, you can see these big collars here. So this boat has aqua drives. And the point of the aqua drives is to really free up the engine so that the engine doesn't have to take the thrust from the props. So the, the, the shafts drive into this big collar here and that's what actually propels the boat fore and aft. You have two CV joints here so that the engine is a little bit softer mounted. It's free to move around and it really makes a big difference at keeping vibration levels down on the boats. It's a, it's a fabulous system. I have Raycors here for the generator, and the generator is right behind me. You can see it's relatively easy to service. This hatch just drops down, or the front drops down, and that's where most of the servicing is. And I've got a hatch directly over my head that's in the galley. So when I am actually working back here, I'll open up that hatch, and it makes it uh, makes servicing this the items back here much more simple. Great engine room, really a highlight, and. Uh, Pretty spectacular, really, for a boat in the in the 50-foot range. Let's head back up, and we'll have a look at the flybridge now. So access to the flybridge is, is very simple from the pilot house. As you can see, just a few steps up, about as convenient as it gets to make a transition or to spend as much time as you want up here, frankly, and this is our favorite spot. One of the things that makes this particular boat unique is the enclosed uh, the enclosure here. So you've got eyes and glass on three sides. They open up nice and wide on the sides as well as the big smile opening in front. So you can enjoy some air on a hot day. You'll notice that you run a Krogan Express from the center line. You've got a beautiful stid chair here to operate from. You've got a similar uh, set of electronics of navigation equipment, 12 inch hybrid touch Raymarine chart plotters. This boat's running Lighthouse 2 software. It's not quite the latest and greatest, but it's, uh, it's, it's very close. It's a, it's a terrific system and, and ready to go. You'll notice that we have uh, the, the engine room camera showing here. We can also change this over and show the, uh, the stern camera, which is a standard feature. There's, there you go from the stern, which is nice. Again, you've got your depth display here and an autopilot uh, fixed control head, and you can always bring that, uh, that remote up here as well. Bow and stern thrusters as well, and uh, control for the stereo system. We'll crank it up, and so you've got some nice speakers, good sound system up here. Visibility forward from the center line is terrific. Uh, it's really the best place to run a boat from is on the center line, and, and the boat is just, it's a dream to operate. Um, 
again you've got the control for the stabilizers if you want to turn them on or turn them off the hull is so good that certainly when we're out uh, in in open water we will frequently use them but very often frankly we just run them centered and turn them on as we need them we don't really feel like we need them all the time got nice seating up here in a, in, in the uh, L-shaped settee this is a propane locker on this side the the, the boats are mostly equipped with uh, with propane for the range and and that's where uh, the propane locker is and back here is all open for mostly for canvas storage and other things let's head back here to the uh, to the boat deck and uh, have a look at our dinghy and our crane and our mast so this boat has a uh, has a much newer dink this is an 11 foot walker bay you can see it's a nice console tender with four seats a, a very nice Tahatsu fuel injected uh, I think that's a 20 or 25 horse uh, motor and does a terrific job on the boat uh, a, a super super heavy duty 1200 pound Brower crane which extends and rotates and 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 uh, you know lift luft and rotation all power and uh, it's on a wireless remote so very easy to use the uh, the mast on this boat is set up with a uh, with an electric winch so the, the clearance is 20 feet with the winch up but uh, or with the mast up but uh, we can pull this pin and, and actually uh, with, our, with our winch control bring the mast right down. You can get under a bridge uh, comfortably as it sits. This will come down to about a 17 foot clearance and if you needed to get lower you could make some other arrangements. We could get the boat down as low as probably 15 feet if you needed it. So it's a wonderful boat for doing the great loop with, uh, with only a four foot draft and and a, and a hard height clearance of as little as 15 feet. Thanks so much for stopping by today and having a look with us at uh, Seagull. She's a 2014 Krogan Express 52 and she's cruise ready and looking for a new home. So please call us. You'll see the number there on your screen, 404-786-4514. Visit us online at kroganexpress.com or send us an email Bob at KroganExpress.com. Looking forward to seeing you on the water. Have a terrific day. Bye-bye.